Hey guys, I want to go over lesson 7.4, and this is day four's assignment. And uh, this is going to have you multiply fractions with models. So up until this point, we've been multiplying fractions by whole numbers. Now we're going to multiply fractions by fractions. Uh, and we're going to start out by using a model to help us do so. All right, so let's say we have one-third times one-fifth. And so another way of saying this problem is we're finding one-third of one-fifth. So I'm going to start out by illustrating or modeling one-fifth. So this whole box is equal to one. And then I'm going to divide my whole into fifths. Uh, now, in a perfect world, this would be perfect, but not each of my fifths is equal as it should be. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to color in one of my fifths. So I'm going to color in one of my fifths. And so when you work this out on page 443 in your chapter 7 book, you might want to have some crayons or colored pencils handy. All right, so I just colored in one out of my five-fifths to show one-fifth. Um, but now what I want to do is I want to find one-third of the one-fifth. So how, how I'm going to do that is I'm actually going to divide my one-fifth into thirds. And then with another color, I'm going to color in going the opposite direction here. One third of my one fifth. And so now I'm going to figure out what my product is. So the denominator is going to be the total number of boxes or spaces that I have in my model. And so it turns out I have 15. So my denominator is going to be 15. So my denominator is 15 because that's the total number of spaces I have in my model, whether they've been colored or not. Now my numerator is going to be the total number of spaces that have been colored over two times. And so that's only one. So my numerator and the product is going to be one. And so the product of one-third times one-fifth is one-fifteenth. So let's take a look at an example that's going to be found on page 443. And this is going to be four-fifths of one-half. And just like before, I'm going to draw a hole to start my model. And because I'm finding four-fifths of a half, I'm going to divide my hole into a half. And I'm going to shade or color in one half.
to represent one half. And as you can tell, your coloring doesn't have to be perfect. Doesn't have to be perfect. And so now I have one half. Well, I want to find four fifths of that one half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide my half into fifths. So now I have um, my half divided into fifths. And because I want to find four fifths of my half, I'm going to color in four of these fifths. Oops, I colored in five. There we go. So now I've colored in four out of my fifths. So just like last time, I'm going to examine my model to determine what my product's denominator and numerator are going to be. So the total number of boxes or spaces or divisions that I have in my model all together, whether they've been colored or not, is 10. So that tells me my denominator, my product's gonna be 10. Now to find the numerator, I need to find um, portions of my model that have been shaded over twice, so with two colors. And that would be one, two, three, four. So four sections have been colored over twice. And so that means my numerator is going to be four. So you can see that you can draw a model to find the product of two fractions. So let's do one more. This is also from page 443. This is 3 fifths of 3 fifths. Or 3 fifths times 3 fifths. So you may be wondering, I've been drawing or starting my drawing by modeling the second fraction because we're really finding 3 fifths of 3 fifths. So I want to draw 3 fifths first. Um, but it really doesn't matter which one you start with first. So here's my hole. And because my denominator is 5, I'm going to divide this into 5 sections or fifths. And because my numerator is a 3, I'm going to color in 3 out of the fifths to show three fifths. And again, it does, the model doesn't have to be perfect. It's equally effective, whether you've colored in the lines perfectly or not. So we can see that I have three out of my five fifths colored in to show three fifths. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to find three fifths of this three fifths. So I'm going to divide my three fifths to five equal sections. And so now, because I want to find three fifths of three fifths, I'm going to color in. three-fifths of my three-fifths. And 
And now I can use my model to figure out what the denominator and numerator of my product is going to be. So the total number of spaces um, that have been divided in my model is actually 25. And then the total number of sections that have been colored over twice is nine. So that's going to be my numerator. And so my product for three fifths times three fifths would be nine twenty fifths. So I hope this video um, helps you see how models can help us multiply fractions. And as always, if you have any questions at all, please contact me and uh, I'd be willing to go over more examples with you. Thanks for watching, guys.